Chapter 11 David Becomes King Over All Israel Then all Israel gathered themselves to David, to Hebron, saying, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. In times past, even when Saul was king, it was you who led out and brought in Israel. Yahweh your God said to you, You shall be shepherd of my people Israel, and you shall be prince over my people Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king, to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahweh. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of Yahweh by Samuel. David Conquers Jerusalem David and all Israel went to Jerusalem. The same is Jebus. And the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, were there. The inhabitants of Jebus said to David, You shall not come in here. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. The same is the city of David. David said, Whoever strikes the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, went up first and was made chief. David lived in the stronghold. Therefore they called it the city of David. He built the city all around, from Milo even around. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. David grew greater and greater, for Yahweh of armies was with him. David's Mightiest Warriors Now these are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who showed themselves strong with him in his kingdom, together with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of Yahweh concerning Israel. This is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Jeshobim, the son of a Hagmonite, the chief of the thirty. He lifted up his spear against three hundred and killed them at one time. After him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighty men. He was with David at Pasdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where there was a plot of ground full of barley. And the people fled from before the Philistines. They stood in the midst of the plot and defended it and killed the Philistines. And Yahweh saved them by a great victory. Three of the thirty chief men went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam. And the army of the Philistines were encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the stronghold and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me water to drink of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. The three broke through the army of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to Yahweh and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this. Shall I drink the blood of these men who have put their lives in jeopardy? For they risked their lives to bring it. Therefore he would not drink it. The three mighty men did these things. David's Thirty Mighty Men Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three, for he lifted up his spear against three hundred and killed them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, and was made their captain. However, he didn't attain to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabziel, who had done mighty deeds, he killed the two sons of Ariel of Moab. He went down also and killed a lion in the midst of a pit 
in time of snow. He killed an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and killed him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and had a name among the three mighty men. Behold, he was more honorable than the thirty, but he didn't attain to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also the mighty men of the armies, Azahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth, the Hararite, Helez, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikish, the Tekoite, Abiezer, the Anathothite, Sibachai, the Hushathite, Eli, the Ahohite, Meharai, the Natophathite, Heled, the son of Baana, the Natophathite, Ithai, the son of Ribai of Gibeah, of the children of Benjamin, Benaiah, the Pirathonite, Hurai, of the brooks of Gaash, Abiel, the Arbathite, Asmaveth, the Baharamite, Eliaba, the Shealbanite, the sons of Hashem, the Gizonite, Jonathan, the son of Shagi, the Hararite, Ahiam, the son of Sekar, the Hararite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hefer, the Macarathite, Ahijah, the Pelonite, Hezro, the Carmelite, Naarai, the son of Esbai, Joel, the brother of Nathan, Mibhar, the son of Hagrai, Zelek the Ammonite, Naharai, the Barathite, the armor-bearer of Joab, the son of Zeruiah, Ira, the Ithrite, Garab, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zabad, the son of Ali, Adina, the son of Shiza, the Reubenite, a chief of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Maacah, and Joshaphat, the Mithnite, Uzziah, the Ashtorethite, Shema, and Jeiel, the sons of Hotham, the Ararite, Jediel, the son of Shimri, and Joha, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Mehavite, and Jerabai, and Joshaviah, the sons of Elnaim, and Ithma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jeaziel, the Mesobeite. Chapter 12 The Mighty Men Join David at Ziklag Now these are those who came to David, to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close, because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, his helpers in war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in slinging stones and in shooting arrows from the bow. They were of Saul's brothers of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiezer, then Joash, the sons of Shemaiah, the Gibeathite, and Jeziel, and Pelet, the sons of Asmaveth, and Barakah, and Jehu, the Anathothite, and Ishmaiah, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jehaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad, the Gadarathite, and Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Bealiah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah, the Heruphite, Elkanah, and Ishiah, and Azarel, and Joezer, and Jeshobim, the Korahites, and Joela, and Zebadiah, the sons of Jeroham of Gedor, 
of the Gadites there separated themselves to David to the stronghold in the wilderness, mighty men of valor, men trained for war that could handle shield and spear, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and they were as swift as the rose on the mountains. Ezer the chief, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Magbani the eleventh. These of the sons of Gad were captains of the army. He who was least was equal to one hundred, and the greatest to one thousand. These are those who went over the Jordan in the first month, when it had overflowed all its banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. There came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the stronghold to David. David went out to meet them and answered them, If you have come peaceably to me to help me, my heart shall be knit to you. But if you have come to betray me to my adversaries, since there is no wrong in my hands, may the God of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came on Amasai, who was chief of the thirty, and he said, We are yours, David, and on your side, you son of Jesse. Peace, peace be to you, and peace be to your helpers, for your God helps you. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. Of Manasseh also there fell away some to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they didn't help them, for the lords of the Philistines sent him away after consultation, saying, He will fall away to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jediel, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zilathai, captains of thousands who were of Manasseh. They helped David against the band of rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the army. For from day to day men came to David to help him, until there was a great army, like the army of God. David's army grows at Hebron. These are the numbers of the heads of those who were armed for war, who came to David, to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of Yahweh. The children of Judah, who bore shield and spear, were six thousand and eight hundred, armed for war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. Jehoiada was the leader of the house of Aaron, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty-two captains. Of the children of Benjamin, the brothers of Saul, three thousand, for hitherto the greatest part of them had kept their allegiance to the house of Saul. Of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous men in their father's houses. Of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, who were mentioned by name to come and make David king. Of the children of Issachar, men who had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brothers were at their command. Of Zebulun, 
such as were able to go out in the army, who could set the battle in array, with all kinds of instruments of war, fifty thousand, and who could order the battle array, and were not of double heart. Of Naphtali, one thousand captains, and with them, with shield and spear, thirty-seven thousand. Of the Danites, who could set the battle in array, twenty-eight thousand six hundred. Of Asher, such as were able to go out in the army, who could set the battle in array, forty thousand. On the other side of the Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all kinds of instruments of war for the battle, one hundred twenty thousand, all these being men of war, who could order the battle array, came with a perfect heart to Hebron, to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. They were there with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brothers had made preparation for them. Moreover, those who were near to them, even as far as Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on donkeys and on camels and on mules and on oxen, food of meal, cakes of figs and clusters of raisins, and wine, and oil, and cattle, and sheep in abundance, for there was joy in Israel. Chapter 13 David Fetches the Ark David consulted with the captains of thousands and of hundreds, even with every leader. David said to all the assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you, and if it is of Yahweh our God, let us send abroad everywhere to our brothers who are left in all the land of Israel, with whom the priests and Levites are in their cities that have suburbs, that they may gather themselves to us, and let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we didn't seek it in the days of Saul. All the assembly said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David assembled all Israel together, from the Shihor, the brook of Egypt, even to the entrance of Hamath, to bring the ark of God from Kiriath-Jerim. David went up, and all Israel, to Baalah, that is, to Kiriath-Jerim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up from there the ark of God Yahweh that sits above the cherubim that is called by the name. They carried the ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ahio drove the cart. David and all Israel played before God with all their might, even with songs and with harps and with stringed instruments and with tambourines, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. Uzzah and the Ark When they came to the threshing floor of Kaidan, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the Ark, for the oxen stumbled. The anger of Yahweh was kindled against Uzzah, and he struck him, because he put forth his hand to the Ark, and there he died before God. David was displeased, because Yahweh had broken forth on Uzzah, and he called that place Perez Uzzah to this day. David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David didn't move the ark to him into the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite, the ark of God remained with the family of Obed-Edom in his house three months, and Yahweh blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that he had. Chapter 14 David's Family Grows Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, and cedar trees, and masons, and carpenters, 
to build him a house. David perceived that Yahweh had established him king over Israel, for his kingdom was exalted on high, for his people Israel's sake. David took more wives at Jerusalem, and David became the father of more sons and daughters. These are the names of the children whom he had in Jerusalem, Shamua, and Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon, and Ibhar, and Elishua, and Elpilet, and Noga, and Nepheg, and Japhiah, and Elishima, and Beeliada, and Eliphalet. Two Victories Over the Philistines When the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David, and David heard of it and went out against them. Now the Philistines had come and made a raid in the valley of Rephaim. David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? Yahweh said to him, Go up, for I will deliver them into your hand. So they came up to baal Perazim, and David struck them there. And David said, God has broken my enemies by my hand, like the breach of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place baal Perazim. They left their gods there, and David gave command, and they were burned with fire. The Philistines yet again made a raid in the valley. David inquired again of God, and God said to him, You shall not go up after them. Turn away from them, and come on them over against the mulberry trees. It shall be. When you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then you shall go out to battle, for God has gone out before you to strike the army of the Philistines. David did as God commanded him, and they struck the army of the Philistines, from Gibeon even to Gezer. The fame of David went out into all lands, and Yahweh brought the fear of him on all nations.